another run in the great outdoors. <laughs> I think I've mentioned it before, but baseball is one of the few sports that I've never played. And one of the things that doesn't really attract me to this sport is the fact that there's not that much like intense movement. It's like very short bursts with long periods of waiting. Soccer and basketball have always been my favorite because even though it requires a lot of stamina, it's always fun to just move around and it's different every time. And plus, those two are like the danciest sports. So in that long stretch of time where I wasn't dancing, that was like my dancing surrogate. Although that's funny because in elementary school I would always play the goalie in soccer. Huh. Okay, we are just about done with, not the entire edit, we're not even close, but we're just about done with the second night, which is the final night. Second night? And then there's just the final canoeing out and then the, the credits and all that stuff. So I'm guessing today's Tuesday, I'm guessing we'll be done by Friday-ish. Maybe sooner if we really get to work, I mean. Okay, so it turns out that today's vlog was even shorter than I had anticipated, but the good news is, is that there's footage from Canada that I totally forgot to put in the vlog because it was on Andrew's phone. So without further ado, I'm gonna leave you with that. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I will see you tomorrow. It was filmed here? It was filmed in our next, downtown. Next street over. Oh, you what? see some of the buildings. Yeah. Oh. So a lot of them were destroyed to build some stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish I watched it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it actually made the downtown look nice. So the this couples. is where they filmed the Silent Hill movie. Yep. I did not know that. Is this where Wayne Gretzky is from? Brantford? Yeah. Okay, this is also where Wayne Gretzky is from. All the collection day. <laughs> the piston. Routine. What about the routine? routine. <laughs> you know, I've never gambled. We could do that. It's we not, could do that. It's not terribly expensive. It's not. <laughs> or you could just give me 20 bucks. Yeah, I'd rather give you 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Get the same result. <laughs> Terrible brand for you. Free local to Canada. Yay. To Canada. Oh, right. <laughs> Poutine with pulled pork. Poutine. We got that pork 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 pork. Pork. <laughs> That's traditional poutine right there. Yeah. I still don't understand how this is not in the U.S. That's Are we afraid of cheese curds? Is that what you it should, is? Like, yeah. I don't like, think it's that. Honestly, I think it's just. Probably something that doesn't translate. Oh, that's, it does have chili cheese fries places in the yeah. yeah, that's true. But that's different so, still. Uh, Angels has an Italian poutine that is dynamite. Italian poutine, instead of using gravy, they use like a really fantastic bolognese sauce, like a spaghetti sauce with meat in it, and knocks your socks off. Huh. The story goes that a man who was working that day in the factory came in and said that he wanted his fries, wanted fries, cheese, gravy, all this kind of stuff. So amongst all the things, he said, I don't have time. Just put it in a bag. I got to go. I'm going to be late for work. So the person who was making it said, that the mold's sin, which means it's going to be a goddamn mess. And he said, I don't care. I got to go. Threw it together. Sure enough, following day, comes in and he says, that was actually pretty good. Could you do that again? Before you know it, they're serving it as a regular thing at their restaurant. Yeah. They've caught on. That is so awesome <laughs> that that is the origin story of it. And that's with pulled pork? Wow. Uh -huh. My God. Try this one. This one is so good. I'm not going to be able to go. I forgot to drink a bunch of water before it came out. I'm desperately thirsty.